oftentimes here on the channel, we get asked what it is like to live in Africa. And my answer is always the same, paradise. Africa is uniquely gifted with some of the world's most beautiful attractions. With these unique attractions comes some of the highest mountain peaks that offer a breathtaking view to nature. Oh, by the way, did you know that it snows in Africa? As the saying goes, the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. This is a fact and in this video, we share the 10 highest African mountain peaks that you might want to visit, especially if you love hiking high altitudes. If you're new here, welcome. On the channel, we share great stories about the African continent. So for more future videos, be sure to like, subscribe and share this video with someone that would love to learn about the African continent. The Tubkal Atlas Mountain found in Morocco has its highest peak as the Jebel Tubkal Peak, which stands at 4,167 meters above the sea level. This is a great mountain to check out on your visit to Morocco, especially Morocco being the African country that has received the highest number of tourists in the past five years. The Asi Mountains of Ethiopia come in at number nine. The highest peak of this mountain is the Bada Peak which stands at 4,195 meters above the sea level. Hiking this mountain would roughly take you between two to three days for you to reach the mountain top. Mount Elgon, which is shared by two East African countries, Uganda and Kenya, comes in at number 8. The highest peak of this mountain is the Wagagai Peak, which stands at 4,321 meters above the sea level. If you're to hike to the highest peak of this mountain, this would roughly take you between 2 to 3 days for you to reach the mountain top. At number 7, we have the Balay Mountains of Ethiopia. The highest peak of this mountain is the Tulu Demtu Peak, which stands at 4,377 meters above the sea level. Well, for the tourists that would love to hike this mountain, this would also take you roughly between 2 to 3 days for you to reach its highest peak. The Virunga Mountains, which are found both in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda, lie sixth on this list. The highest peak of these mountains is the Karisimbi Peak, which stands at 4,507 meters above the sea level. The Virunga Mountains are famously known for the Virunga National Park, which is one of the oldest national parks in Africa and also one of the largest on the African continent. 
This national park is famous for gorilla trekking, so definitely visiting the Virunga Mountains will enable you hit two birds at the same time. The Simien Mountains of Ethiopia come in at number 5. The Simien Mountains are known to have the Walia Ibex animal, which is a giant goat with very long horns. The highest peak to this mountain is the Ras Dashen Peak, which stands at 4,550 meters above the sea level. Now for the mountain trekkers, this would roughly take you between two to four days for you to reach this mountain peak. Number four is Mountain Meru of Tanzania. The highest peak to this mountain is called the Socialist Peak which stands at 4,566 meters above sea level. And usually for the tourists that would like to reach the mountain top, this usually takes them four days for them to get to the top. Mount Renzori, which is shared by both Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, comes in at number three. This mountain has its highest peak as the Margarita Peak, which stands at 5,109 meters above sea level. Now, this is one of the few places on the African continent that will give you a snow experience and usually getting to the Margarita Peak, this would take you between six to seven days for you to reach this mountain top. Number two is Mountain Kenya. This is obviously found in Kenya and its highest peak is the Bashan Peak which stands at 5,199 meters above sea level. For the mountain climbers, if you would like to reach the mountain top, this takes you between four to five days for you to reach the top and the experience is just out of this world. Mount Kilimanjaro of Tanzania tops this list with its highest peak being the Uhuru Peak. I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, you've at least heard a thing or two about Mount Kilimanjaro. And yes, this is the highest point on the African continent. For the people climbing mountain Kilimanjaro, it takes you between five to nine days for you to reach the mountain top. So definitely you must prepare yourself for this journey in terms of carrying enough supplies like food, clothing, and any other things as you'll be advised by your guide. For our Swahili lesson, we look at the two very important directional words, which are kushoto, which means left, and kulia, which means right. These two words usually come in very handy, especially if you're directing someone maybe somewhere, you might wanna use these two words. And of course, if you wanna go deep and learn the Swahili language, 
which is one of the most spoken languages on the African continent with over 200 million speakers, we created an easy to learn speak Swahili for beginners course that basically takes you from A to Z for you to be able to learn and speak Swahili like a native speaker. To enroll for the course, check out the link in the description box of this video. Well, those are the top 10 highest mountain peaks on the African continent. Have you noticed that most of them are found in the East African region? I guess this is a clear indication of how high the landscape is on the eastern side of the African continent as compared to the other parts of the continent. In the comments, let us know what the highest mountain peak is in your country. And of course, for you to be notified about our latest uploads, don't forget to like, subscribe and also share this video with someone that would love to learn about the African continent. We recommend you watch more here to learn about Africa.